this. Oh, I, I, as I was reviewing the footage, I realized I forgot to mention the, you know, the intro. So, I, I just want to know y'all's opinion on the intro. Uh, I didn't really work hard on it, to be honest. But it was a kind of, a little, a little just a little pain. Because, you know, the watermark, I use like one app. And then switch to another, and it was completely better. Which you would probably see in the corner and all that. But yeah, I just want to get y'all's opinion on it. Is it good? Should I keep it? Should I remove it? You know, I'm gonna leave it up to you. But uh, yeah, I, I hope y'all enjoy the video. Oh yeah! That was still a bad Macho Man impression. I am so sorry. But hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As I said, Macho Man. Yay! Okay, so this is the Ultimate Edition Mattel Elite. Wait, no. Ultimate Edition Macho Man Randy Savage from when he was a part of the NWO. I think I got that right, hopefully. But uh, yeah, we're reviewing this guy, like I said last week, and here he is. So let's go over the problems. I'm pretty sure people have already pointed out. He does get stained pretty badly from the shirts, and then his head's loose and all that. And then, actually, I think those are the only two problems. I could be wrong. Oh, yeah, and the belt doesn't actually, like, fit on him, I guess. So, it's really a pain to uh, put on him. But, overall, like, ignoring those, this is a pretty good figure. Would I say it's worth thirty two ninety nine though? Not really. I, I kind of just wanted to return this guy, but uh, I kind of don't want to because I've been wanting a Macho Man figure. But I guess you can say whenever I, I can get another Macho Man figure, I'm just going to use the heads um, off this guy. Because, like, I, I don't know. They're just not that great, I guess. I mean, the body-wise, you know. But um, let's, let's ignore those faults real quick and go into accessories. So accessories, it comes with two shirts here is one of them, the Macho Madness shirt. As you know, I think mine is actually damaged a little bit. Not on this side. Like, look on this side, right? And then we switch over to the other. Yeah, it is. What the hell? Just a little bit. If you look right here, if I keep pulling it, if I want to rip this more, it's a little bit torn. But that's not, like, a faculty problem. That's probably just, like, I don't know. But as you can tell, there's no Velcro on this. So, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to pop that head off and maybe the hands if that helps. And then, like, actually put this on the figure like it were a shirt. Instead of, like, you know, having the shirt with Velcro on the back, you know, opening that and then just putting it on. And now I'm using the, the Wreck Everyone Room Range shirt. On John Moxley's figure. John Moxley figure. Because I feel like it's weird to see him shirtless every single time you look at him. But yeah. Also the only way you can tell the, what the front and back is. This is a front. Because of the v-neck. The way it's shaped. And then the back is just you know curved like normal. And then he comes with this shirt. I guess a little bit before he actually joined the NWO. And again you know. It's a decent shirt, I guess you can say. I mean, if you just remove this, it would have just been a black shirt. So it's like, is that really hard work? <laughs> and then here are the glasses, which, you know, if you have a Macho Man figure, which this is my first one, you just slip them on like so. And they go on pretty easy. As well with the do-rack, you just put them on his head. And there you go, yeah, Macho Madness. So, yeah. As you can tell, it fits nicely. I mean, it also depends on which head you're using. Because I've noticed that the, the do-rag actually goes on... Or fits on heads very differently. At least I think so. Right? Anyway, so hands, you know. They're just fingerless glove hands, you know. They're pretty good, you know. <laughs> Every time I talk about hands, I just say, Oh, they're just hands, so there's not much to talk about, you know. And he has these, like, mic holding hands, which, um, I put the AEW mic that came with CM Punk in his hands. And then his fingers right here, 
his thumb and pointing finger came apart a little bit. I don't think that's a bad thing, but it's just a weird thing I noticed. But it would have been nice to just have him have like fist and then, you know, fisted hands, but oh well. And then he comes with two other heads here. Here's a serious head, right? He's ready to like actually start the match. And here's a tongue out head, which apparently had some controversy behind it. Now, I'm not sure. I'm not always up with Mattel controversy. controversy. But yeah, that's something I heard about watching uh, Kyle Peterson review on this guy. And I, I, I'm i not sure. But yeah. As for articulation. You know it's pretty standard. Just double doing elbows. You know. Um, um, bicep swivel. You know his arms go up pretty. Far above 90. Like always. The only difference is from. Like the regular elite ones. Is the butterfly joints. And then you know diaphragm cut. And then toe hinge that's about it so to be honest there's nothing really special about the articulation is just really simple you know excuse me but uh, yeah um is this figure worth 32.99 no not really he doesn't come with all that much and yeah i paid for him and i am pretty happy with them but i'm not that happy because i passed up the Storm Shadow G.I. Joe action figure. I don't think I'm getting that for Christmas. <laughs> oh, yeah, by the way, Merry Christmas, guys. Um, so I'm gonna post this on like Christmas Eve, you know. Um, or you know, it'll just come out on Christmas Eve during the day. I hope, and yeah, I can't do anything about that. Also, I forgot to mention, I hope y'all like the intro. You know, I did a little stop motion on my Instagram. So, uh, I might link my Instagram so y'all can go see that. I also have Twitter, but I'm not going to really use that, to be honest. So, I'm not going to link that down below. I, but, like, I'm just here to inform you guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, articulation is pretty standard. You know, it's not really much special. And, you know, necessities are okay. But how well does he sell with your other wrestling figures? You know? So let's start things off with the AEW John Moxley. And Jesus Christ, he looks short. Now, I don't know if that's a faculty problem because people, you know, other reviewers also mention how short Macho Man looks. Now, I don't know how short Macho Man really was. But um, I feel like he's, he's, he was at least taller or as tall as Hulk Hogan I mean I could be wrong but yeah that's that's where he stands with those two action figures um a little bit more of AEW figures here he, here he is next to his Orange Cassie and then CM Punk and yeah now moving on to um you know M Mattel Elite here he is with a loose Ness, Roman Reigns, and then Brock Lesnar. I just realized I have I I don't know where his championship. Never mind. I see it, but uh, yeah, I wish these can stand up on their own right now, but they won't. And then here he is standing next to John Cena and Undertaker. And then, uh, to kind of end this off, he is next to doing two Rey Mysterios. And yeah, I should be fair enough with the Marvel Legends Spider-Mans, but I don't have them with me. Wait a second. I do have them. <laughs> yeah, here he is standing next to them. The two greatest Marvel Legends ever. Oh yeah, here's your NWO Spider-Man. But, uh, yeah, um, why is this video so short? I guess I have nothing else to talk about, to be honest. That's so weird. You know, my videos are usually at least, like, 11 minutes long. Uh, I might just stretch it out and I'm just playing. But, um, yeah, Merry Christmas. I hope you get what you want. If you don't, you know, that's chill. That's whatever. 
just be grateful that you got something, right? <laughs> because most people don't get it. Now, I'm not going to be one of those people. I'll be grateful because most of those. No, I'm not going to be like that. But like, on serious, be grateful what you get. And, you know, just chill. Right? Anyways, I'll see you on the next video. I have no idea what I'm going to review. But, uh, yeah. Peace.